Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Ready whenever you are, brother. Are you ready, brother? Is this 134? I'm ready, brother. Is this 134? You just typed it in, brother. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot. All right. All right, we're live. Welcome back. 134. I just typed it in. Oh, my body. Yeah, you've been on a bender. Fucking three-day bender, huh? Fuck. Hey, there's a show tonight Long Beach. Let's go. I fucking <laughs> feel it. Is there? <laughs> yeah. It's a quarantine records one? Probably. Ugh. I just, well, um, I was playing with Noodles the other day on fucking Overwatch. Bro's a fucking... He doesn't, he doesn't talk, he doesn't communicate, he just ping shit and just beats ass. He's a sauce master. Like, I, I don't... And I told him, I was like, bro, I haven't played in like over a year, at least. So I told him like the last character that I remember being added to the game, and that was the last time I played, and before that, I didn't play for like a year before that. Like, this isn't a fucking competition, bro. No, no, he he was out, he was just laughing. He was like, "You're good, bro. You're good, bro." And he's just beating ass. <laughs> and then uh, we were playing for a little while, and then he was, "Damn, that was our first loss." I was like, "Oh, damn, you're right." And then I was looking, and I got I got an achievement, and it was like, "Oh, play ten games, and you get this spray." And I was like, "Oh, dude, we already just played ten games." He was like, "That was ten games. It, it was pretty fast." See, your time goes by fast when you're having fun. Yeah, I was having fun. Um, that game's fucking hard. It's fucking hard. See, when when you said, he was kind of just laughing, brushing off, saying, "Oh, you're good, bro." It, it, it made me think of something that I saw earlier. It was a, uh, it actually really fucking bugged me. Okay. Noodles. To be fair, this didn't bug me at all. No, 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 <laughs> no. Um. So what it was, it was these these professional tennis players, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they're they're in match, and there's obviously those people that. There's a referee or whatever they're called. There's the ball boys or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's those people around them that help okay. with the game. Uh -huh. And it's it's the videos of the tennis players just treating those people like absolute yeah, shit. Yeah, I hate that. It's like that kid is getting the balls for you because you're too lazy to go get it. You're a professional I, athlete, by the way. I fucking hate that. Professional athlete, and, by the way. And so to say about him, he's damn near a fucking professional in my book, at least. And... Um, He's being a fucking real nice person. Just being like, oh, you're good, bro. Don't worry about it. And these tennis players. Uh-huh. Literally kicking people in the shins. What? Yeah, dude. What are you talking about here? Can't name drop? It, it, was, a, it was a compilation. Oh. It was a compilation of asshole tennis players. And, um, I, but, okay, maybe I'm generalizing a bit, but I feel like tennis players and golf players are just more likely to be dickheads like that. You think it's because they're, you know... Because it's a rich they, daddy yeah, sport. Yeah, so Like, they come around like they're a rich preppy. I feel like it. Maybe. I, I totally. I, I have seen, like, the ten... I don't know about golf, really. Nothing about golf. I know Tiger Woods, and that, that's it. Um, I do know that when, you, when I see tennis players, they're like, no thank yous, no nothing. Just give me the fucking ball, little bitch boy. See, and I was even watching Starsky and Hutch last night. Uh-huh. And then there's a there's a scene where, you know, Snoop Dogg is undercover. He's a caddy, right for 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 the for the head drug dealer Vince mm -hmm. Vaughn, and um, so Snoop Dogg he doesn't have a specific club in his, in his bag, right? <laughs> yeah. And he the, the 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 golf player just fucking gets pissed off and fucking slaps him in the face and everything. You know? Oh my god! I know. Obviously, it's a it's a satirical movie and shit, but. I'm sure it happens. Yeah, dude. It's like, give me the five iron, and he gives him a three a three wedge. Yeah, he takes off his glove. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> I just feel like that's what they would do. <laughs> oh, man. I So, like, for a while there, I was getting videos of this guy who was, like, dressing up as an old person, being their caddy, but he's actually a professional golfer. And then the guy, he's like, oh, you need to give me some advice. I've been caddying for a long time. And he goes, yeah, if you hit it right here with this instead of this, he's like, you're going to get it. And every person he gave him tips on, they're like, wow, that was awesome. And then whew, reveal, I'm, I'm this guy. And they're like, oh, my God. So did they, oh my God. did they tip him fat because of it or what? I doubt it because he revealed his face. And he's like, yeah, I'm actually richer than you. Get the fuck out of here. Because caddies get tipped, right? Little bitch boy. Fuck yeah. Yeah. If they don't, I'd be fucked up. I would be fucked up. Treated like a fucking little bitch all day. Hey, 
Give but, me that. But then again, I mean, it's it's probably an easy fucking job. Yeah, and they probably also like golf. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Totally. Like, I feel like if you want to be a caddy, you actually have to like golf. That kind of seems like okay from a from a non non golf knowing person. That kind of seems like an apprenticeship for golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. You gotta start at the bottom, work your way up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Last night, brother. Um. I was on some shit, my boy. You were on some shit? Seven buzz balls. Seven buzz balls. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I was faded. When's the last time you hit that number? Oh, a well, long, long time. Long time, huh? Yeah. So, we were just chilling on the couch, and my girl's like, oh, like, how about we, like, we play, we have this fucking one uh, question theme that we've had for so long. It's called Never Get Old or some shit like that. Uh-huh. Stupid ass game. Oh. <laughs> But every time, so we said every time that you, uh, that you know what the, the old is talking about, you you have to move up like a little sticker, right, on the ten of them, and then we, I was like, you got to take a fat drink. And every time you go down, you got to take a fat drink because there's a redeemed one. Like, oh, if you know this, then you come back down. I just kept fucking drinking. Bro. Okay, give me an example of these questions. Um, have you ever looked at your top one hundred listeners on Spotify? So if you know it, so so what? Oh, what would determine no, it if you said, move up or down? It said, have you ever looked at, like, the top 100 artists on Spotify and not know who most of them are? Then you're old. Then you got to move up. Oh, gotcha. And the game ends when the first person hits to 10. And this game can be played with, like, 10 people. Mm. But I told her, every time that we go up, you got to take a drink. But then it's called the redeem. The redeem. Uh, each one has old and redeem. So then every time you get a redeem, you got to drink. Well, dude, we were staying at, like, 1 to 2 the whole game. Because we just kept going back down. And then there was one point in the game. Somehow I got all the way up to seven. I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, I'm done. But I just kept drinking. And then I, at the at the end of it, it was like, fuck. I was like, dude, I've had like six glasses of this already. Buzz ball, giant buzz ball. I was like, and I had one outside. And I was like, I'm, I was like, but I was just laying down like this. And like, I was on my bed, like sitting up. And I was like, I don't feel drunk. And I was like, I know if I stand up. It's over. It's gonna hit you like a fucking truck. And then she was like, "Okay, because she, she's Asian, so she got that red flush, you know." So I could tell she. The what? Asian people get a red flush when they're drunk. What do you mean? What What is this red flush you're talking about? You've never seen that? No, red flush. Yeah. No. So that's him before. That's him when he's drunk. Oh, okay. The second they get alcohol, their skin turns bright red. Really? Totally. That's a common occurrence within Asians. Yeah, it's it's the Asian thing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So. She was getting red, and I was like, oh, she's already drunk. <laughs> and then, uh, so she was like, yeah, stand up. And I was like, oh, fuck. Couldn't do it. I, I mean, I was able to walk around and stuff, but I was drunk. I was fucked up. Yeah, 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 totally. It, it was bad. Was it fun? It was fun. We had fun. Hell yeah. We just laughed and shit. It was cool. That's all that matters. Yeah. And then, uh, I remember she was like, hey, do you think you could take the dog outside? But I didn't want the dog to be running around in the house. No way. So I tried to pick her up, and I just fell face first. So, oh, like, yes. I went to bend down to get the dog. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can't. I can't do it. I was like, I can open the door for you, but I think you got to carry the dog. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was fun. And uh, I woke up this morning. I wouldn't, I would, like, I feel like shit. I guess that's hungover. I don't have a headache or nothing. It's just, like, my body is just, like, donezo. Uh-huh. Like, done. I just didn't do it. It feels like it's frozen. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I woke up. Because I usually wake up, like, around 5, take the dog out. Cause that's why I take her out for work every day, so I just get up at five, take her out. Oh, she was barking in there, and I was like, "I'm coming." And I was like, "Oh fuck, I'm coming." I didn't want her piss in there in the cage. Took her ass out, just sat there on the couch for like maybe an hour, just staring off, contemplating, not life. doing anything, just staring there. So <laughs> about eight thirty, yeah. But we're alive, and uh, be- before we continue, I'd like to take a moment of silence. You know, I lost a family member recently. Just a moment of silence. Okay. Um, I texted you, like, I think Thursday. And I told you something happened. And I was a little sad. Okay. Kasi Jimenez fed down. No way. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. I know you didn't like it. Nah, bro. But that... But I, yeah, I've been going there for years. That just goes to tell you. That tells you something. The economy's fucked up. No, 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 no. That tells you something right there. What does that tell you? To be fair, the last two times me and Jake went, we're like, it wasn't that good. And that that's probably what happened. 
And to be fair, I also haven't seen that owner there in, in like two years. Like he probably died or something. Wow. So the owner died. They fucking started fucking up. That sucks. That sucks. Yeah, it's, they it's... closed down, and I didn't know what to do. And I was just like, just park, bro. I was like, for real, just park. I was like, I'm fucking shocked right now. It was like, thank you for 40 years of of uh, you know coming here. Oh, they had a sign? Was, dude, it was all boarded up. Wow. I was like, dude, we were just here like a month ago. Wow. Yeah, it was sad. I wish I would have known. I would have went one more time before if I would have known. Damn, dude. Oh, damn. Yeah, because I was just sitting on the couch with Jake. We are just bullshitting or whatever. And uh, I was like, I'm just charging my phone, bro, and then, you know, we can do whatever. And he was like, hey, bro, you want Costa Menes? I was like, eh, it's 730. Let's just go now. My phone's on 20. Let's go. We drive there. And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Shut down. Ter- terrible. I was sad. I was legit was sad. I was more shocked. I was like, holy fuck. Did you cry? No. Why not? No. Uh, Should have cried. <laughs> no, yeah. And then we just went to Augie's. Worst service ever. Really? Like, each time it's been getting worse. Oh, man. Because last time we had that guy, he was like, yeah, I'm a bartender in L.A., so, like, I never sleep. You know, yeah, I get good yeah. tips. It's like, that then fucking guy, stay over there, guy? bro. That stay over there. Guy? I was making these weird comments and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this guy... Mm-hmm. He came to check up, check up on us one time. He said, you guys want water? Are you guys ready to order? Okay, cool. That's easy. He brought us water. Never came to check up on us on it. Having a stroke. He never came to check up on us again. My water was empty from the get. Uh-huh. Okay. And then the pizzas took fucking forever to get out. Were they fire, though? They were dang, bro. Okay, I took okay. a picture of you. Okay. Want to see? Okay. It was dang. Did you get the, did you get the huge? <laughs> Duh. The huge. I'm gonna say, oh, yeah, it was dank, bro. Oh, fuck, yeah. It was dank. Oh, yeah. That looks dank. Yeah, it, it was It was good. It was good. And then... Uh, Some thin crust pieces on fire. Then... And then... Uh, <laughs> then this old lady comes. She's like, oh. She's like, how's everything? Like, oh, can we get a box and uh, our check? And then Jake goes, can we split it? And she goes, uh... I'll see what I can do. <laughs> what do you mean? I'll you know, see what you can she do. She couldn't figure it out on the tablet thing, so she had to go to the front. <laughs> they had to split it with, like, uh, receipt checks. And we did it that way. Zero tip. I'm not... I'm almost a never zero tipper, but... You are... No, no. Never no. say never. You are a realistic tipper, you know? Yeah, that's there, there's, no service. There's people who tip just to tip because... That's what they feel. This culture nowadays has made it somehow mandatory yeah. to tip uh-huh. even in places that don't deserve a tip for shit yeah i know and um there's people who genuinely tip because of and because of how the service was and that's pretty much like that's their rating of how the service was you know yeah it's, i think that's how it should be bro more, more people need to be uh they need to fucking stand on business and i kind of tested it myself because i saw i saw this video like recently a couple weeks ago and it was at Chili's and it was like oh 15% gratu- gratuity and then the guy goes that's not 15 fucking percent that's 20% mm-hmm. and he just kept going up and he was like this percent is way off where are you guys getting this percentage from so he's like if you actually want 15% do it on your calculator yourself and do a custom tip because they're lying to you mm-hmm. I wonder how many people just put a quick 15% tip and it's a 20% tip but even then like those are dude those are pretty high sometimes no but I'm saying like bro they just straight lie to you. They just put a number on your screen. Uh huh. And the guy's right, dude. Do some math. And I mean, I'll tip. I got no problem tipping. I got no problem tipping. And like I said, I'm almost a never zero dollar tipper. But if the service ain't ain't in, I'm not tipping. Yeah. The only time I am not gonna tip, or yeah, dude. The only really the only time I'm not gonna tip is is if you're fucking slacking. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna rate yeah. you. I'm gonna. That's just how it is. I'm not just gonna give you free money because uh okay, so what's like the realistic server. minimum tip you're gonna give minimum tip what do you mean like you're, you're by you're by yourself right okay and you just get like uh whatever like you go out to dinner it's like 30 dollars. Okay. what's the minimum if they did okay service for you i think five bucks is pretty solid yeah so that's like the lowest i do is five bucks you know? and if it's below five bucks i'm not giving you a four three two and no, i'm giving you zero yeah it's five or five or zero yeah yeah, yeah. five and up five and zero that's it yeah I try to keep it like I don't, just kind of like you. I don't really go two, three, you know. I don't go in between. I wonder how many people just tip just because oh, I'm here. I just gotta tip, even if you don't like the service. I don't know, man. I, I I think a lot of people do, just because they think like, oh well, it's kind of expected. This, this, and that. Yeah, I told my girl because 
I said, this hurt was terrible. And she still left $5. And I said, nope, that's mine. I was like, why'd you leave $5? She's like, oh, well, you got a tip. I was like, nah. I was like, dude, they haven't checked out almost one fucking time. But like, okay, so we recently got, um, it was it was recently my mom's birthday, right? Mm-hmm. And we recently ordered Jersey Mike's. She loves Jersey Mike's. Uh-huh. As do I, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I, I was all for it. But we ordered it on the mobile app. Yeah. And even on the mobile app, it asked for a tip. Oh, fuck you. But it's like, dude, how do, first of all, how do I know my sandwiches are going to come out exactly how I ordered them? Yeah. And well, second. Because you ordered online. And second, how do I know that um, the people making them deserve that tip? You don't. Mobile tips are fucking bullshit. I don't think those should be asked for at all. If you want a tip and you're picking it up, put it in a little fucking tip jar. Yeah. It shouldn't be done over mobile order. Yep. That's just what I think. You can call me a fucking stickler, old man, whatever the fuck it may be. All right? I'm not tipping no fast food person. No I offense. ain't tipping no fast food person. All offense. All right? <laughs> I worked fast food. Did Nobody you fucking tips? Tip. Well, actually, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I did get some tips, okay? I did get some tips um, against company policy, but fuck the company. You know what I'm saying? They just appreciated my service. They did. But... I did deserve the service. I mean, I did deserve the tip. I was giving them free stuff. You were fucking them, huh? No. I was giving fucking you? I was giving them free stuff, man. So it's like, yeah, I'll give you an extra leg, you know? Give me an extra leg, shoot me a five. No, I did I never asked for it. It was always the old old ladies that would shoot me extra money. You know? So shout out them. That's pedophilia at its finest. But since we're on the topic of customer service and dining. I recently had a dining experience that I've never had in my life. Good or bad? Great. Oh, okay. It was a great dining experience. So Friday after work, um, I went to the Twitch Fits concert, the Halloween concert. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that was that was the day where it was the beginning of the World Series, right? <laughs> and not only that, there was four other events in yeah. downtown LA uh-huh. that it was expected to be one of the worst traffic jams in Los Angeles history. Uh-huh. And so I got off at 2 p.m. of work, and I was thinking to myself, I don't really want to go home, get ready, and then potentially traffic, get stuck in traffic, right? Fuck that. I'm just staying here after work, and I'm just going to get something to eat. I'm going to chill, close is whatever. It? What? From your work? Uh, the venue? Yeah. It was about uh, 10 minutes away. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was about ten minutes away, and um, it was all it was all cool, you know. So I was kind of deciding on where I should go, looking on Yelp and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But then I remembered I was like, oh, there's this place around the corner, and it's kind of like a fancier restaurant. Wow! But I want to treat myself, uh-huh. right? And and earlier that year on the job site, uh, a coworker of mine was given a gift card to said restaurant mm-hmm. and then just out of curiosity to see if he used it or not I was going to ask him how it was if he did use it I was like hey man did you ever end up using that gift card and he's like nah man I'll give it to you he's like nah man I'll give it to you I have it in the car and I was like oh fucking sweet it's on baby and so in that moment I decided I'm going there after uh-huh. work uh-huh. right so the, I'm sure you you maybe have even heard of it the place is called Fogo de Chao Oh, water. Have you heard of it? I've never been, no. So, it's a Brazilian steakhouse. Uh-huh. And yeah, dude. Okay, steakhouse. This is like something, it was an experience I've never had before in my life. Mm-hmm. So, you know what a Brazil- Brazilian steakhouse is, right? I'm just going to put it on the case real quick. Yes, we're back. So, back to my fine dining Brazilian, experience. Brazilian steakhouse? So, you know what a Brazilian steakhouse is? Yeah, they, you have a fucking card, and it's like, give me some more, bitch. Yeah, so they have that little card. Uh-huh. One side's green, one side's red. I think that's self-explanatory. Is it all you can eat? Depending on, on what you pick, right? So, um, they have, a, I think it's called the Churrasco Experience, where that is all you can eat. So, uh, there's like a, there's a, a feijoada and a salad bar where you can get anything from there. And they also have the, the different cuts of meat that come out, mm-hmm. and as much as you want. That's on the, the, the big one. 
Like the one that you ordered? Yeah, that's the one that I ordered. But they also have like dishes for with with different types of entrees and stuff, right? Uh-huh. But no, nah, man. I mean, that that experience was something that I've always heard about with the different cuts of meat coming around. I've always heard about it. And so I, th- I thought to myself, like, if I'm coming here, um, I kind of have to get that, right? Yeah, totally. So, bro, they had, they had chicken, they had lamb, they had pork, sirloin, filet mignon. They had a shitload, mm-hmm. over 15 cuts of meat. Did you get them all? I tried to get as much as I could. They had sausage. Oh, dude. Everything was dank? It was all amazing. All of it. How does it work? So, they served it with a side of, um, I think it was crispy polenta mm-hmm. and yeah, some yeah, yeah. Um, um, fried plantains. Or not, fried put whatever. And salad bar. And, um, yeah, whatever you wanted to, and some mashed potatoes, right? So, the way it works is they have their servers come out with um, the different cut of meat on this giant fucking skewer. It looks like a sword. That's mm-hmm. some fucking medieval shit, mm-hmm. right? They come out with a giant skewer, and they, they literally ask you, would you like um, some fucking top sirloin? Oh, sure. Why not? And they just keep cutting until you say stop? No, so they cut you a slice, uh-huh. right? And then you have these little tongs where you can grab it and put it on your plate. Uh-huh. And um, it just keep, they keep coming. They keep coming around, you know? If, if you have your card flipped to green, you they'll want. come to your table. Uh-huh. And they'll ask you if you want this. And if you have it, no, obviously, they'll leave you alone. But man, that we've got to go there someday. Expensive. Brother. So the gift card I had was for fifty dollars, uh-huh. right? It was a fifty dollar gift card, and I ordered two drinks. So one of them was a mint pineapple lemonade, amazing. And the second drink I got it was called a um, a guarana Antarctica. So that that guarana is pretty much like a. a traditional brazilian soda i think it's cherry flavored okay so good so good okay so those two i pretty much just paid for those two so i mean i only paid like 11 12 dollars plus the tip oh so 60 dollars per person yeah 60 dollars per person you're pretty safe you but know? that's the all you can eat yeah that's the all you can eat experience that, that and, sounds it's, dank. and it's totally worth it dude that sounds dank totally worth it just getting a bunch of steak cut all the time yeah and more Oh, dude, it's... How it's, was a polenta? I've always wanted to try that. I've never tried it before. I didn't even know what it was, but I thought to myself, like, well, if, if they're serving it, it's part of the experience, I gotta try it. Mm-hmm. You know? Didn't like it. It was good. It wasn't my favorite thing. But my favorite thing that they served was um, these these pieces of cheese uh-huh. that they would put on the grill, right? They'd get crispy on the edges, mm-hmm. but it was still nice and soft on the in the in the core. But they'll serve it with some hot honey. Oh. They'll 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 dr- they'll dribble some hot honey over it. Yeah, that's your shit too. Man, that was so fucking good. God, was it so fucking good? Yeah, that's your shit. I would love for you to try it someday, man. Don't they have some close out here? I'm sure they do somewhere somewhere around. But it, just a Brazilian steakhouse in general. I, I think you specifically. When I was eating it, I had you in mind. You specifically would love it. Bend me over. Yes, you'll love it. And not only that, the food was great, and so was the service. Tip? I did tip. Good? $15. Solid. Pretty solid, yeah. right? And I'm sure that place was packed as fuck. Actually, no, dude. It, it, wasn't, it, wasn't too, it wasn't too packed. They were expecting more of a rush because of all the, all the stuff going around downtown. But, I ended but you up, were there about 3 o'clock. I was there at like 3 o'clock, 3.30. How close was it to you? Um, it was about maybe like a five to eight minute walk. And were you able to walk to 1720 or you had to drive over there? Well, I was going to walk. So you remember where we parked for the Velasco Theater? I was going to walk from there to the venue. It would have been a 45 minute walk. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. And then after a fucking show was a pain in the ass. Well, I was, I was just planning on getting an Uber back to the, to the car. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and, uh, scope out the venue see if I can find a decent spot and I found an all right spot the guy in front of me unfortunately it did not you got broken into his car got broken into um, but yeah it was all right I, I parked around the corner and it was maybe like a two minute walk right but yeah that was my first time ever going there it's a dope venue mm-hmm. 
It looks a lot bigger on video. Really? Yeah. So it's not that big. It, no, it's 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 a decent size. Okay. But the video just makes it look way bigger. They should have just done it at the Belasco. No, I think that was a perfect size to do it. Honestly, it was great. It was great. But yeah, the show was fucking awesome. It was. Um, I kind of treated myself. Again? No, no. Well, the, the dinner. Oh yeah. The dinner, the show. It was kind of like a, a Friday night outing just for myself. Uh huh. And. Yeah, it was a good day. I was extremely full after after that steakhouse. You took a massive shit? I took a massive shit in-house. You know what I'm saying? Oh, at the Fogo de Chao? At the Fogo de Chao. Nice-ass bathroom, I bet. Fuck yeah, bro. I was it was just you? It was just me. Awesome. Yeah, it was just me. And um, I asked him, I was like, I was like, hey, this is my first time ever coming here. I don't really know what to expect. Like, I don't know what to order. What do you recommend? Uh -huh. And then... They, they spoke to me in a bit of Portuguese as well, right? And so... I was like, hey, calm the fuck down. I was bro. like, hey, 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 calm the fuck down, bro. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm Mexican, bro. <laughs> and so he was like, oh, well, I recommend this, the churrasco experience, all you can eat one. You'll eat like a king. You said, oh, sign me up. Sign me the fuck up, man. Sign me the fuck up. And yeah, dude, I absolutely did eat like a king. It, li they, it lived up to the hype. Did you go to the salad bar? I did go to the salad bar a bit, but I didn't want to overdo it too much. Uh -huh. I just got some, um, I think it was some uh, uh, sautéed mushrooms and some fried eggplant okay. with oh. a bit of chicken salad. Dang. But I didn't want to overdo it. Dang. Because I wanted the meat. I wanted what I was really paying for. You know? uh, hell yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, best believe, brother. Any any cut of meat that came around, never denied it. Yeah, bring it on, bring it on. So what 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 was like the weirdest thing you had, like the something that you normally wouldn't see at a steakhouse, all of it pretty much. That cheese. Oh okay. Because, um, did you know they sell that shit at Walmart? Bro, that was fucking nostalgic for me, very nostalgic for me. Why? Because that cheese, I hadn't eaten some cheese like that, in over, I'd say probably fifteen years. Why? Because uh, when I was younger, and we would have uh, carne asada in the backyard or whatever, yeah, my 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 dad would put some on the grill, right? And we never had it with honey, but he would put some on the grill, and the cheese was fucking phenomenal. You just oh put that God. right in there, the whole fucking block. And um, when they when they brought me that cheese, and I tried it for the first time, ratatouille vibes. Fucking ratatouille vibes, bro. <laughs> Linguini, panini. I was back in fucking time. That's awesome. Serious. Yeah, that's awesome. It was awesome. You'd love it, dude. I'm telling you. You'd fucking love it. <sighs> There's got to be one close to here. I'm not going to L.A. for that shit. No, no way. They, 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 there are some close to here. They're, but they might not exactly be Fogo to Chow, mm -hmm. but I'm, there's different ones for sure. To be fair, shout out to everyone driving out to L.A., bro, because I fucking hate driving there. Not like driving there is fine. I hate driving in L.A. It's the worst thing ever. Yeah, it's, it's, it can get pretty bad. I, I fucking hate it. A little complicated too. You know what though? I think San Francisco is much more complicated. Probably. I will say so myself. I don't really remember what it was like. San Francisco? Yeah, we kind of just went to a fucking mall. That's all we did. But you've been there a couple times. Yeah, I've been there a couple times. I've only dr driven through once after that or before that. I don't remember. I don't like one way streets. Don't like them. That's like San Diego, bro. There too. Any downtown area. Downtown areas are just fucked. Really? But if you want the nightlife, that's Fuck where that. it is. Fuck that shit. Um, at, so at work recently, like, there's this guy who's been there about three months. But I, I just started working over there with him. And uh, we get along great. He's older. He's 41. Fucking hilarious. He's hilarious. He's an old cholo dude. He's funny as fuck. And uh, we talk a lot. But we get work done. So... Um, they had a whole meeting with like the whole fucking crew and they're talking about like, yeah, we got to stop talking so much and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, fuck, we're in trouble. Here we go. Why is it that their companies are some haters, bro? Let me finish, dog. So we didn't get singled out. It was the whole crew. It was a bunch of shit that they just want us to look out for and just be better. And then it was like a couple hours later. And then she had already called the guy over my boss and they're kind of in the middle of our area. She goes, come here. And I was like, fuck, dude. She's like, she's going to get her ass. Because we, we, we'll talk, bro. Like, 
just fuck around. I was like, hey, the fucking work's done. I'm gonna sit here and talk. What do you want me to do? I, I told her all, all the time. I tell her, what do you want me to do? I swept three times. I did this. I did this. It's all done. Like, there's nothing to do. She's like, oh, okay, just go ahead and relax. Oh, what well, bullshit? So she's like, you guys talk a lot, and you guys work well together. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some more work, but you guys got to do it together. I was like. Oh. Say less. Say less. I mean him. I was like, damn, bro, I thought, I thought we were going to get in trouble. We got rewarded. <laughs> yeah, so dude, we got rewarded for working well together. That's but, how it should be. But the thing is, yeah, so they weren't hating. I think, so I did get in trouble because I was talking to one of my friends that's not in the, <laughs> in our crew oh. for like 20 minutes. But I was telling, I was like, she was like, you didn't get in trouble because there was no work, but you need to watch out. All right. And I was like, all right, fair, fair. So yeah, we got rewarded. And we're going to get to work together even more. It's going to be great. That is great, dude. But why is it that companies, sometimes they're just on their hater shit. They're always on hater regardless shit. Regardless of, of whether you're getting work done or not. Like, let's just say in your situation, right? You were yeah. getting hella work done uh-huh. and in a, in a timely manner. Uh-huh. But they just didn't like the fact that you were enjoying it in the process. And just because of that, they'll fucking yeah. they'll put the hammer down. Why? I see, and I he said this the other day because it was like it was it was kind of slow, but he said it early on in the day. It was like two hours in, and he was like, "Bro, everything's going great today. Can you feel it?" I was like, "Yeah, it's fucking going awesome." He was like, "It's oddly going perfect. Everything's going great." And then something happened, and he was like, "She only said that because everything's going so good. She doesn't want it to be like that." And I was like, "Yeah, you're right." She would she would like point something out, and it's like. Why? For what? You know? To find something to fucking pick at us. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, nah, she's only saying that because it's going too good today. That's why. She's trying to ruin the flow. I was like, yeah, you're right. They don't want it to go perfect. They want something to fuck up. I don't know. They want us to be miserable or something. I don't know. But then again, why would, why wouldn't they want it to be perfect? Couldn't tell you. But yeah, they, they want you to be miserable. That's yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. They just want you to be miserable. But honestly, yeah. So when, when she told us that... It was like the next day I was telling her, I was like, yeah, we had a meeting. They're like, oh, yeah, we saw you guys talking. What happened? I was like, oh, yeah, she told us that we got to start working together more. And they all started laughing because they didn't believe us. I was like, no, that's him. He was there, too. The, uh, like a, another guy who wasn't around. He was like, yeah, it's true. I was like, what's up, bitch? We just, we just fuck around. That's Get your money do. up. Now you're funny up. Yeah. We just bullshit. We talk. And then sometimes we have serious conversations. It's cool. I'm sure, I'm sure you do it with Rick. That's what's up, dude. Yeah, yeah. totally. It's, it's, it's the best thing when you can find that. We talk a lot of shit. It's the best thing when you can find that perfect Line. combination of, of work to, to tomfoolery. And the thing is, it's cool because I've been there longer, but I don't have a power trip. And he doesn't have a power trip either. So it's, he'll just be like, hey, bro, I'm going to do this while you do that, all right? And then we'll switch it up. Like, oh, you do this, I'll do that. And we're just like, boom, 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 boom. We're just getting this shit done. Mm-hmm. Real quick, no power trip. Oh, yeah. Hell and yeah. like, oh, do I have more seniority? Fuck you, you do it. No shit like that. I like that. Boom, boom, boom. And then the other day, they, they asked us to go sweep outside. They said, oh, you two go sweep outside. It's dirty out. It was real windy. <laughs> Fucking sweep outside for five hours, my dude. It all pays the same, brother. Yeah. <laughs> so it was it was really dirty out there. All the leaves and shit that have been stuck on the fence, all blew right there. Piles of leaves. I had like 10 fat-ass piles of leaves. And yeah, and I got to really know that guy. It was really cool. That's sick. It, really it cool. all pays the same. Oh, yeah. Don't care what you make me do. Yeah. And then I just told him, I was like, hey, bro. I was like, take your time. It's slow today. They want us to sweep. Let's sweep. Easy money. Easy, easy, easy. And did it early in the morning, too. It wasn't hot out yet. Uh-huh. Perfect. I loved it. People are jealous of us, too. Especially, like, my other work husbands. They're real jealous. Because you guys work so well. Yeah. So, like, they'll, like, go up to him and be like, oh, yeah, hey, hey, your husband's fucking cheating on you. I'll be like, hey. I'll like, you know, he's paying the bills right now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got like three work husbands, so you know they all get pretty jealous. It's hard to keep them all managed. Yeah, yeah, totally. I feel that. I feel that. It's hard. And yesterday, uh, Max Holloway got knocked out. She was sad. Yeah, so recently you you just I been, lost two family members. You've just been feeling a lot of loss lately. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, dude. Uh, so my girl was like, "Hey, Max Holloway's fighting this week." So I told you that if you want to bring your friends over, I'll cook and shit. And uh, I was like, "Okay, fuck it." She made some cheese dip and a fuck ton of wings, like five pounds of wings. It was day. Yeah. I still got some in the freeze, in the freeze, in the fridge. Um, I don't know how to reheat that shit. I don't know if I should air fry it. 
microwave it. Air fry that bitch. There's a reheat option on the air fryer now. Oh, yeah, you're right. But since we're on the topic of work, I recently uh, did some work that I have never done before. New, well, new not, area? New area, yeah. So it was kind of like a one-off type of thing. And it was um, similar work to what I've done before, but the, the location is what, what changed, right? Oh. I worked in a mansion, brother. Oh, nice. A mansion. In LA? In Beverly Hills, dude. A mansion. A $61 million mansion. Holy fuck. Holy fuck Who, is right. Who was it? I don't know. Don't know. Look that bitch up. Don't know. And, I probably, and if I knew, I probably wouldn't want to say on air. We'd leave it out. You know? Um, but, man, it was Beautiful. fucking insane. I've never felt like more of a peasant in my life. It's funny because like, when me and my girl go to like rich places like that, we'll be like, oh, you're poor. Sorry, you're poor. But, bro, this is like, dude, I don't... You're poor. See, what, we, what, <laughs> what I thought to be a mansion before... Uh-huh. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, this place is massive. Dude, I... This is bigger than a Stater Brothers? Brother. I think it was like 250,000 square feet. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I think it 12 bedrooms, 20 bathrooms. That ain't mathing. What do you mean it ain't mathing? 20 bathrooms? Who the fuck needs 20 fucking bathrooms? Hey, man. They even had a restroom for... Okay, so... Um, dad, they, they had like a room specifically for all their pool equipment, like the the, the heaters and all that shit, yeah. right? And even that room had a bathroom. So for all their maintenance maintenance crew and everything, they have spe- specified bathrooms for them. <coughs> it's crazy, right? So they got maids and shit, huh? Oh yeah, dude. Uh, we did not feel out of place at all because the family was gone at the time, and everyone around the house was just working, right? They had cleaning ladies. They had. Um, fucking landscapers they had maintenance men electricians and shit and then there was me I was just I was like one of the crew you know <laughs> dude were they in uniform and shit uh they were well yeah most of them were like the cleaning ladies and stuff it's just wild to me that someone's that rich you know wild right cause like I was just telling you yesterday uh we saw the Emirates had a a commercial for like their planes and shit and then my girl was like, oh, yeah, you know, like, just, like, not even their VIP seats, just, like, a regular kind of, like, above economy seats, like, $10,000 from, like, there to London. It's like, holy fuck, like, a four-hour trip, ten k, And I'm like, who's paying for that shit? They're paying for that shit. Yeah, and what's crazy is, like, okay, I think it was just a regular schmegular family of six. Four kids, two parents. That's... What do you want with, <laughs> with, with 20 bathrooms? What the fuck are you going to do? See, the thing is, I feel like those people always throw parties and shit. You know, some great Gatsby house shit. I don't know, man. That's where you were. You're at the Gatsby house. I don't know. It was extremely nice. Super fucking nice. Right? Did you take a shit there? What, in the the maintenance restroom? (laughs) They wouldn't allow us to go to the others. Why not? You can just sneak off? No, be- well, because we're peasants. That's why. And do you think the other peasants, like, fuck each other in the bathrooms and shit, low-key? Because the house is so big. It's like, oh, they're not going to catch us. Let's go I don't know. It's kind of... It's kind of hot. It is kind of hot, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the peasants are over there just getting fucking pounded. Like, the maintenance man with a maid or something. Yeah, that'd be you, dope. You never know. Yeah. Maybe the owner of the house is doing it with a maid. Oh, that's very valid. Wes like, hey, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm on the east side. It takes her 20 minutes to get over there. I'm in the east wing. <laughs> yeah. It takes her 20 minutes to get over there. He already fucking, he's already pulled out by then. Dude, I mean, well, this neighborhood didn't even have sidewalks, bro. Because, like, just mean? walking the perimeter of the house was enough. <laughs> <laughs> so did they have, like, a pool and a tennis court and shit like that? Yes. Yeah. They had a pool. Indoor basketball court? That now I don't put know. It over the edge. They had an underground parking garage. Holy fuck. Ten car garage. Ten. Ten. Did you get a look at them? Regular, regular fucking cars. What? Regular ass cars. See, that's you know when they're rich. Some regular ass cars. So yeah, I they got had a super nice upkept, just basic ass truck, like a little old truck, pickup truck. Nostalgic. Super fucking nice. Super clean. I wonder if they're nice. I'd li- I'd, I'd would love to meet them. Like hey, I kind of did some work here the other day. Uh, you know, I just wanted to meet you. I'm sorry. Just doing an experiment. What's up? How are you guys? You know what was <laughs> odd though? What was odd? What I thought was kind of odd at least was that um, <clears throat> we we on our way up to the attic because we that's where all the all our work was in the attic and shit. 
I did have a chance to kind of get a glimpse into the house, uh-huh. right, from open doors and stuff. And every single time that I took a glimpse into the house, there was some type of rendition of um, the children. Like a painting. Something. It's a little weird. A painting, statues, something. That's a little weird. It was always the children, right? And um, it was kind of weird. <laughs> so on the way up, up to the attic, there was this giant painting of all the children. And then maybe two more floors up, there was a real photo of all the children. Okay. And then inside this, this little room that I saw, there was this glass box, maybe about like this big, uh-huh. this tall. It had statues of all the children. On my way to the little maintenance restroom, on the wall next to the pool, there was like tile, uh, there was like tile art of the children. I'm getting fucking weirded out. You know? They aren't their kids, they're trafficking these kids. No, but it was all the same kids. Yeah, but then, like, over the years, once they get a little too old, they just fucking sell them. Once they get, like, 14, they sell them, and they get a new set of kids and just redo all the art. But I wonder, dude, it's like, what made them pick specifically that time in the children's life? You know what I'm saying? That's got to be some mom shit, though, for real. You think so? Yeah. What What, what have you ever thought to yourself to do some weird shit like that? Like, females would just do the randomest shit. First of all, first of all, I don't have the dough for something like that. No, I'm, I'm just saying, like... How often do you, like, it's like, oh, yeah, mom wanted to do this. And then it's like, fucking, a dad's never going to do that shit. Well, okay. How about let's let's redecorate the house? It's like, no, motherfucker, this shit's already decorated, my boy. To be fair, if I could have miniature of of myself, I totally would. That'd be fucking cool. Uh, That's a little weird. I would love it. That'd be freaking, that'd be pretty fucking cool. You can get Funko Pop over yourself. I don't want a stupid Funko Pop. All right. Sorry. You know? Sorry. I want, like, a realistic looking (laughs) miniature. Get Sideshow to make it or something. That's fucking awesome. That'd be cool. Right? That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be really cool, be, right? Be cool. With all the details yeah. and everything. I get my you know, fucking little wiener on there. Get the dumpy on there. Get my yeah. cock bulge. <laughs> <laughs> something. Uh, yeah, that... Uh, to it, me, I'm getting serial killer vibes. It like, was giving uh, weird vibes. Yeah, I'm getting like serial killer or something. But I, I hope... I hope... I hope they're happy. I hope they're enjoying their 250,000 square foot house. To all six of them? To all six of them. Do you think... How, how old... They have a son? Yeah, I think too. How how old do you think they are? Based off the... Okay, it looked like the children ranged from ages 8 to maybe 20. Okay, so is any of the boys older? Yes. Do you think one of those boys has jerked off in every single room of the house? In every sh- bathroom? I sure as hell hope so. I feel like that would be the because the if, end the end game of the house. <laughs> because if not, you're doing something wrong, brother. You're really doing something wrong. And do you think do you think each kid has their favorite restroom? Because for sure oh, yeah. they have their own. But bro, bro, like, do you think they all have like, oh, this restroom is my favorite? Dog, I got two restrooms in my house, and even I have a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay. I know for sure they have favorite restrooms. Hmm. Does every restroom have a shower? That I don't know. I, I, they probably do, bro. How many washers and dryers do you think they have? They can't just have one. No way. But, do you have all those bathrooms, only one washer dryer set? But the thing is, How many bro, kitchens? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting a little too ahead. Of, you're, getting, you're driving a little too far on the road here. All right? <laughs> but the thing is, they have somebody washing and drying their shit for them. Yeah. So that person would probably... For me, I'm picturing, like, you know, Corey in the house? Never. Disney show? Dad was a chef. Maybe he was a chef. I don't remember. They have, like, a back room, so it's not even, like, visible. The kitchen's not even visible. Like a regular oh, kitchen yeah, at a yeah, restaurant. Yeah. Like, okay. you can have a kitchen like that, and they just push it out on a cart. No, no. From what I saw, it seemed like the kitchen was accessible from all the other rooms. I mean, I just I saw... I want to go there. Oh, dude, I... It was a nice fucking house. I, I, I want to go there, and I want to live there. I could probably live... I could I could squat there. They'll never find me. Bro, in their, in their attic, there was plenty of space. Nice There's, attic, too, I bet. Yeah. Nicest attic I've ever seen. Like... I've seen my fair share of attics. It was pretty fucking nice. Like, I could live in the East Wing in, like, the third story. However many stories there is. You know? Four. 
the third one. So they, you know, hide in one of the rooms. Not necessarily live, like, start bringing shit in. Like, you know, have my necessities. Plug my Xbox in, you know, fucking game with the headphones on. And then, oh, I hear them. Oh, turn the shit off. Hide, hide, hide. With your headphones on, you ain't hearing them, brother. I have one off. I don't know. I don't know. I could live there. They'll never know. And one of the maids comes in, I'll just be like, hey, you live here too, okay? Just help me out. She'll be like, okay, senor. Bye. I'll be like, hey, I saw <laughs> you, you. I saw fucking you, asshole. I'll be like, I saw you fucking Jeremy the other <laughs> day. I'll fucking, fucking asshole. I'll rat your bitch ass out. Okay, senor. <laughs> well, hey, you're trying to tell me? Come on. Hey, hey, to be fair, I saw one of these little maids. All right? Asian? She was fucking white. No. White on white crime. I don't yeah. fucking believe it. Yeah, she I don't was. fucking believe she it. She was. I don't fucking believe she it. She was. I don't fucking believe she it. She was. Swear? Swear on my fucking life. Swear. Wow. That was a curveball. You want to know the maid? As soon as you said maids and shit, I pictured the, the, the lady from Family Guy. Housekeeping. They're like, no, go away. Consuela. I come in? No, go. Okay, I come in now. <laughs> yeah, that's who I pictured. Every time someone says maid, I picture that lady. Consuela is her name? Yeah, that bitch is funny. She funny. With a little pink dress, yeah. yellow gloves. Uh-huh. And some black. white Keds on. Some, some what? Is that the type of shoe? Keds, yeah. Those that, fucking that what they're called? The, like the nurse shoe? Like the old school nurse shoe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do nurses wear those anymore, or they just wear whatever? No, they gotta wear, um, I, I think they gotta wear, like, non-slips, non-slip. no? Yeah. Right. Valid, valid. Pretty sure. Pretty yeah. sure. I don't know, I'd, I'd love to go to a mansion. I would have loved to take a tour of this mansion, you know? Yeah. Just like, like, hey, like not just... on some weirdo shit, like, just to admire it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's nice, dude. Like, can I just come, you know, just walk around the house, you know, see all the art of the children? Like, just give me a <laughs> tour, bro, like, that's all I really want, then I'll be out of your hair. You know, Damn. like MTV. Where did you park? Did they make you park on the street? Um, so the first day I got to park in their driveway, right? They're like, "Oh, leave your keys on on your windshield just in case we need to move your car." I was like, "I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want you going to my car." Yeah. Then, so, <laughs> so yeah, we had to leave our keys on the windshield just in case they needed to move our car. But then, um, the next time I went, I had to park on the street. Yeah. Like fuck, you park on the street. Your car is too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Your car's too fucking dirty. Yeah, um, it was just, it was a crazy experience. I was living lavish that last week, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and now you're back in hell. And now, not necessarily hell, but um, I've I've gone down a couple notches. <laughs> <laughs> but that that skyscraper is definitely worth more money than a house. It's gotta be. The inside's not gonna be nicer than it though. Oh no way. You know? Is this house white, though? This house is white. Why are all mansions white? This house is white. Like, but why, though? I don't know. I don't know. Well, like, okay, it wasn't necessarily white. It was like a cream. It's still white, bro. Like, you know? there are fucking walls, eggshell. You can't tell me it's not white. It was like an eggshell, yeah. Have you seen Rick Ross's, uh, oh. uh, what do they call it? They don't even call it a, a house. They uh, call it a, an estate. That, but it's... Plantation. Uh, he is like in the south it's fucking huge huge ranch no I forgot the name but it's huge it's fucking massive and okay at what point does a house like that become a uh, how do I even say it a small town no 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 <laughs> at what point does a house like that become a hindrance you know what I'm saying? I don't think ever, because he just has so much land on his own. There's no neighbors. But just there's him. but there's so much upkeep that you got to do with it. And he's paying for it. You know what I'm saying? To be fair, that just his house is keeping up a fucking economy right there <laughs> for at least 30 people. And like the house you were at, same thing. Same thing. At least 30 people are getting paid every fucking week because of this fucking mansion. Yeah. And that's helping the economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Hard totally fucking right. fucking working people. Do you, how much maintenance do you need to keep up though, for have a full time maintenance guy? Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying. To be fair, just the HVAC alone, right? They had, uh, I think they had like five different mechanical rooms. Uh huh. Oh shit. And each mechanical room has like a an air handler unit, so they had five air handler units. They had 16 different fan coils. So that alone needs to be maintenance, right? It needs to be cleaned. 
belts need to be changed. So he, this, uh, I would say there's like two or three maintenance guys just each month just doing the same thing. Like, oh, we start here and end back and we start again. Probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filters need to be changed. It's whatever, a good job. You know? But not only that, probably like uh, light bulbs. Right. Maybe door creakings. They don't want the doors creaking at all. Dude, even the pins for their fucking doors. Like, what did they do to get that rich? For the door hinges? The pins for the door hinges were fucking elegant as shit. Those are the nicest pins I've ever seen in my life. Like that right there. They were no ba- they were no ordinary fucking pins. Hell no. Nah. Golden? No, nah, they were like silver, but they were fucking ornamental. Like, how, how do you get that rich? What do you do? Because no one's winning the lottery every day, you know what I'm saying? It ain't happening. I don't know, man, but I'm, I'd be willing to do some fucking mischievous shit to get that. I don't like. I don't like. I didn't like that. I don't like sell, you said that. I'd sell my body. Your soul. My body. Oh. Not my soul. You go on the street. I'm going on the street, baby. <laughs> because I feel like. I don't know. Good investments, I guess. Good, good, pe- good people around that are already rich. That's some insider trading type shit. Yeah, that's you know the rich get richer. They say. <laughs> Eh, I wouldn't even want a house that big, honestly. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Way too it's like, much. It's like having an 18-inch wiener. It's too much. You're not even going to use all of it. You know? Facts. How many of those fucking bedrooms are you sleeping in realistically? Probably maybe two max per person, you know? Dude, but I wonder how many game rooms they have. Movie room, gaming room, arcade. They, yeah, yeah. They did have, they did have like, an outside pool room, right? So there was a pool, then they had, like, a... Okay, dude, this was honestly, like, a fucking small house. Just the outside. Just the outside pool room it was like a small house. That's where they'd have like their little pool parties. Dude, they, ah, oh man. They and must be just like. Sauna, steam room. That, I bet you the wife's never worked a day in her life. Dude, they're, okay. That's the type of woman I'm describing that'll just start doing random shit. Honey, um. Today we're gonna build a Dunkin' Donuts in the back of the house, okay? <laughs> He's like, okay, hon, whatever you want. Here's fucking ten grand. We'll get it done. It's gonna be more than ten grand. Like I know he. that, but you know, a little down payment. <laughs> I just like, like, like Akon. Doesn't he have a gas station in his fucking house? Uh-huh. A whole ass gas station in his house. Does he? Yeah. Wow, dude. Akon or so- one of those, one of those famous like R&B type guys. I think it's Akon, and he owns like a whole fucking city in Africa. Well, I mean, a, he's, a tech he, city. He's powering it, so he's paying for it. A tech yeah. city. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild out there. Hey, but shout out to the ones that got that shit. If you got it the right way, you know what I'm saying. If you got it the wrong way, then you can suck my whole dick. What are your What are your thoughts on the Tesla robots? Tesla robots? I don't like any of it. Don't, I don't like, like any, any of robots. It. I don't like any self-driving cars. I don't like any self-delivering food robots. All those stupid little robots you yeah, see. Yeah, they get stuck. I I want to kick them over. <laughs> I want to fucking kick them over every single time I see them. And there's that video. I'm sure you've seen it too. Help there's, me. <laughs> there's like that. There's like that. That robot. It's like it, it's on. It's on its four legs, and it's like people are bullying it, and it's fucking. Yeah. You know, I'm sure you've seen it. Uh huh. Man, they need to take that fucking robot out because I always feel like that thing is gonna get to a point to where like, you know, I'm sick of these fucking people picking on me. It's gonna stand up on its two legs and. <laughs> fucking beat these dudes up on some real steel type shit yeah so like uh elon has those i am robot looking robots the i robot is that what it's called yeah i robot i put i am legend and i robot in the same yeah. thing <laughs> same actor yeah same difference <laughs> so i robot same fucking looking thing and uh it was like oh yeah it'll watch you in your sleep and it's like standing over him like this watching the guy sleep fuck that for what though no i'm sure the robot helps to do other shit but I'm fucked with it because already like at work and shit like a few years ago they were testing robots to build shit for us and I was like that's taking thousands of jobs away oh yeah one robot oh, they yeah. have like four of them that's like a that's like a couple hundred jobs right there gone from four fucking robots and that's that's what they want they want the economy they want they don't, they'd rather be cheaper instead of helping the economy out does that make sense? Well, because these people that are impl- these people that are wanting to implement these robots into the industry, 
they're not the the workers themselves that no. keep these businesses running. Yeah, they are the the people that sit at the top of the pyramid, the people that 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 line their pockets with the money brought in by all the workers. You know, so as much money as they can save by cutting off all these humans. Yeah, you know, and they will do it. And that sucks. That does suck. And it, it's like we're getting to that point to where people. It's going to start happening. Because they're not looking out for, for because eventually they're, they're going to lose their position. Like, look what happened with Amazon. You know? You know? What happened with Amazon? 100,000 jobs lost in one day. They implemented all these robots to do wow. it for them. 100,000 instantly in one day. Wow. That's 100,000 jobs that now people have to go find again. It's insane. From a fucking robot. Because the, they only have to pay for the robot once. Yeah, dude. Fuck that. We got to fight back against this fucking AI shit. Yeah. You know? Fuck that shit. It's scary. Well, why do you think they had that whole um, those 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 actors and screenwriters and shit? They had that whole strike. Yeah, it was all against AI and shit. You know, because Netflix was even making movies out of AI. Yeah, that's it's just getting cheaper, cheaper, and cheaper, and they're just getting richer and richer and richer. I guess I it just like at this point it just seems like I hate rich people. <laughs> at this point, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't like how there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of thousands of jobs lost by a few robots. Yeah, totally. It's and then it's going to get to a point where there's, like, so much homelessness that they're going to start doing, like, you know, you're going to have to rely on the government completely at one point. That's what's going to happen. The only... Let's see. The, and then your freedom is gone at that point. The only, the only way I would ever think for AI to be beneficial to our lives as like common people is to to take care of petty tasks you know like washing dishes doing laundry wipe my ass wipe my ass just basic fucking shit like that so where they take care of that stuff so then we can take care of um, our our passions our fucking yeah. you know stuff like that so where we have more time to focus on the things that we really like yeah but that's what they're saying is gonna happen yeah uh, like Wait. at Facebook in 2013, uh -huh. they created AI and they shut it down because it started. It created its own language. Like you said, it was fucking trying to fight back. On some Terminator shit, bro. Two robots were talking in a language that they never fucking heard of before. They're like, "What the fuck?" And they completely scrapped it. That's terrifying. That is, that, dude. That's scary. That is fucking scary. Yeah. So they made this is in 2013, by the way. So imagine now with our, you know. AI is only been getting better. So in 2013, this robot, these two robots made their own language and started talking to each other, and they couldn't figure out what they were saying. Some fucking robot talk. You know, some Mars shit. Some District, <laughs> District 9 type stuff. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm kind of scared now. Did I scare you? That's, dude, that's scary. Think about all those maids that have those jobs that I was just talking about. Just buy a couple robots now. If, if anything is... Because that's the type of people to buy the robot first. If there's anything that, that genuinely scares me in this life, it's probably uh, it's probably that. Like AI taking over? Yeah. And then we have like war versus the AI? Because I'll totally fucking... I'll totally be on the human side. You know, I'll start fighting these motherfuckers. Well, the thing is, at, at a, well, yeah, of course, but at a, at a certain point, you know, all technology is just going to be shut off. Right. And it's like you said... We're constantly just going back to where we started. It's a, it's a constant loop. It's like, oh, we got so advanced, and now, oh, shit, technology's taken over, and then we fight back, and technology goes back to fucking zero, and then it all just happens again. Over and over again. Well, there's that, there's that, um, there's that term that everybody says, and, like, it's heard around the world. History repeats itself. Yeah. You know? Maybe that's how, maybe that's how the, the Egyptians built the pyramids. That's such advanced technology, we had to fight it at one point, and then they took it so out. So you never seen Ancient Apocalypse, like I've asked you like so many times? No, never. Has anyone seen Ancient Apocalypse? I talk about this shit, like, fucking religiously here. Oh, dude, Joe Rogan loves that thing. Season 2 just dropped, bro. Really? Yeah. I'm probably like two episodes in. Probably not gonna watch it. Keanu Reeves is on there, your favorite actor. Favorite fucking actor. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of movies lately. Yeah, me too. But, that guy was on the Joe Rogan podcast with another guy. And they figured it out with vibration and sound. Sound vibrations and how they picked it up effortlessly. And they're patenting the shit already. This is from last year. 
Also, they're working on getting that they uh-huh. that technology. So they think that this is how it was done. Yeah, it's pretty badass. I'd like to see it. It's badass. Like he was showing them all the diagrams. Like, yep, this is already patented, so I can show this. We have other stuff that's not patented yet, but we're working on it right now. It's badass. Some fucking classified info. And they're on some island that has no government rule. So they could actually do it because they know if the government was there, they try to fuck something up. Uh, yeah, yeah, he talked about it all on the Joe Rogan podcast. Because the awesome. government fucks everything up, man. Yeah, they try to take it for themselves, and then he, this guy's like, "No, we're trying to figure it out." They use it for their own fucking benefit. They end up fucking us over. What I was getting to is, is it makes sense. He said, "There's been traces of humans for so many thousands of years. How come they weren't advanced? We just think that they were sticks and stones. But how come they weren't advanced and we are? It doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense." What if they really were maybe possibly even more advanced than we are and they built all this shit? You know? That's what they're getting at. Yeah, dude, it makes sense. It makes it sense. Seems, it seems physically impossible. It makes sense. That in the past time before the Ice Age, they were so advanced and then that fucking meteor hit and then the cataclysm happened all over the world. And then that reset everything. 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 Where's our reset? I'm sure it'll happen. Like, think about it like this. Pangea happened. You know, where the fucking continents... But they're all coming back together. Like, we... Like, the United States moves like two or three centimeters every year. It's not a lot. But if you think about it in the scope of how many billions of years Earth has been around... It's just... They're, eventually, they're going to come back together again. Really? I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So eventually... Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, though. After but... many thousands and thousands of years, we would have moved a couple hundred miles closer to fucking Russia or something. Yeah, that'd be cool, being able to drive to a completely new continent that, that typically would be uh, No, but overseas. when they fucking hit, it's going to fucking... The biggest earthquakes ever. Ever. Think well, about that. We'll be long gone by then. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> cold cold yes. centimeters a year. No, but it's like... Sorry, kids, 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 kids. And then the Ice Age happened... You know, how come that wouldn't happen again in our time? Why not? Is that only in the past? Is it only, oh yeah, that only happened in the past. It'll never happen again It's here. only a one-off. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That is crazy. That's kind of scary too. It is a little scary. <laughs> it's scary. Nuclear winter. That's our ice age. What is that, fucking uh, Game of Thrones type shit? Causing bombs <laughs> so fucking... So fucking massive, it covers up the, the sky. With ash. Yeah, anyways, guys, uh, glad to, like, scare you a little bit. Hope everyone got a little scared. Glad to bring a little morbidity into your life. Yeah. I don't know what you said, but sure. You know, episode 134, love y'all. Uh, fuck the robots, peace.